let's do some fast review on what have you learned from the previous videos right you have learned sign ru sign ru and when do you use sign ru is very important we use the sign ru when there is a pair now when there is a pair we will use sign ru now what if we don't have a pair so if we don't have a pair when when do we use a rule called what would, what would this rule be so when there is no pair we will use cosine rule so remember that when there is no pair we will use cosine rule so what does cosine rule tells you now we will illustrate through an example let's see if you have a triangle well this triangle looks doesn't very perfect but it's fine because it's for our illustration purpose and let's say a b c and the angle for a will be 80 degrees and we have 6 cm for ac 9 cm for ab and we want to find out what would be the length bc equals to what would be this length how to find this length so you ask yourself the powerful questions or the magic questions always is do you have a pair so in this triangle do you see a pair well you could see no opposite six we don't have this angle opposite the 9 cm we don't have this angle opposite the 80 degrees we don't have this length and this is the length that we are looking looking for therefore when you don't, ha don't have a pair we are going to use cosine rule and now we are going to introduce to you how do we use the cosine rule now assume that bc is y y so y square cosine rule always start with square so the one you want to find is y so we put y square equals to what are the other two lengths right you can see we have a uh, six we have nine cm so we use 6 square plus 9 square minus 2, right? Remember, minus 2 times 2 things, which is the length that we have, which is 6 and 9. So minus 2 times 6 times 9 let's move to to the right a little bit so that we have more space and then cos because it's cosine root so always remember it must cos cos the angle opposite the y opposite the y what is the angle 80 degrees so we will put cos 9 uh, sorry cos 80 degrees and you just keep solving from there so now let's try to solve this first so 6 square you get 54 9 square 81 and 12 times 9 you get 108 and you could use your calculator to key in cos 80 so cos 80 you will get 0 0.1736 0 0.17 
So 54 plus 81 is 135. So 108 times 0 0.1736. And what do you get from that? You get 18.7488. So we minus it. 135 minus 18.7488, which is 116.2512. And remember, this is y squared. So to get the y, we need to square root it. You are right. So we need to do the square root. So y equals to square root. 116.2512 and what do you get from that? You get around 10.7819 or if you round it up, you get around 782 10.782 cm so this is how we applied it but some of you may wonder, well I may want to have a general formula. So now we are going to show you the general formula. So let's see the example here. Now I will show you how is the general formula and how could we remember it easily. Now we build another triangle with the same thing A, B, C. Now opposite the A we denote by small letter, small letter A, opposite B small letter B, opposite C small letter C. Now assuming, assuming C is the length that we want to find and assuming that we are going to use cosine rule now. Right, we are going to use cosine rule. And means there is no pair in the triangle. And if you want to find the C, we will start from the C and then we square it. Equals to right the other two length, which is A and B. You square it and then add it up. Means A square plus b square minus all right 2 always remember minus 2 times by two things which are the a and the b so times a b and then cos cos this letter is c right so cos c so if cos c means opposite the c. So if you have the angle here as theta, you have the angle here as theta, then it becomes c square equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab cos theta. Or if you want to put c square equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab, cos c is also acceptable. So this is how you could use the formula. You just need to plug in all the values for a, b and the angle c. And then you use this calculator and make sure you square root it at the final answer to get c. And so this is how the general formula works. But if you think the general formula too complicated, you can use the way that we show you just now through the practical application right so thank you very much i will see you at the next video